Hey guys, uh, <coughs> sorry, I've got a rather interesting unboxing video I want to do for you guys today. I've got a few um, Space Battleship Yamato kits that I picked up, um, kind of just for the modding purposes and because they're really, really cheap. Uh, so I thought I'd just uh, unbox them all together in one video. Uh, these small kits, I actually got two of each. Uh, I'll just unbox one, obviously. The first one is the, what is it, it's the Garmila's Battle Carrier. This is number 26 in their series of, um, what do they call their mini series. Uh, I couldn't find a scale for this kit. I've looked all over the box and all over online and I'm, uh, if someone knows what scale these are in, uh, let me know. This bigger one is 2400, so this one, it's gotta be like, 3,000 or more. Very, very small. Anyway, so the box is pretty basic. It's very old. It says 19... If you can read that there. 1981. So this is a ridiculously old model kit. Uh, really, really super old. Made by Bandai. And here's just showing some others in the series there. And... You can see right here, this was 200 yen, which uh, is about what I paid for. I think what I paid for is actually maybe like um, 180 or 240. Anyway, somewhere right around there. Uh, maybe 180. I think it was pretty cheap. Um, so, let's open it up. As you can see, the instructions are on the inside of the box. Here, just pretty basic. Just a few steps. It's basically just a few pieces and a lot of little detail parts. Uh, we've got the first runner. That's actually C there. I wasn't sure if they'd be lettered or not, but it looks like they are. Maybe? Or maybe that one just says C. <laughs> uh, right here's uh, one runner. There's all small and green. This would be the... the uh, landing platform and this next runner this is for a base, it does come with a very small base mm -hmm. and here would be the main parts of the hull and then some other small little detail parts there and then just some legal stuff who knows, whatever that's it for that one same story with this one. This is the uh, TDF patrol ship, also in the mini scale. This is number 13. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, this one was number 26. So number 13, everything's just the same around here, blah blah blah, my other kits in the series, 200 yen. Inside, here's the instructions, uh-huh, pretty pretty straightforward there. Inside we've got three runners. Here's just the main hull. This is a very dark blue color. Navy, basically. Got this one here, the base. And actually a small little extra ship there. That's kind of cool. Um, and these are maybe missiles? I don't know. Honestly, I've never watched any Space Battleship Yamato. Of course, I've heard plenty about it, and I mean, I know what it is, but I've just never really gotten into it. I suppose I probably should one of these days. There's more detail parts there. Some really, really fine parts there. I'm gonna have to be really careful not to break any of that if I need it for something. Like I said, these got these just basically to use the parts, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much if I break them. Uh, this it would just be the larger version of the one I just showed. Um, it's the uh, Earth Defense Force uh, patrol ship. And you can see a very uh, good looking fellow up there in the corner. I take it that would be the captain or one of the captains. This ship, uh, this also comes with a small little medical ship inside here as well. If I can Oh, I guess I'll show you the outside of the box first, sorry. Here's a bit about the ship, there you can see it there. 
this side, just cover art here, a couple more in the series, and yeah, old style box art, you can pretty much guess that, uh, 600 yen, slightly more expensive, like I said, this is a two, 1 to 2,400, 2,400 scale. So we actually have a instruction booklet this time, just a pamphlet, I guess I should say. There's a picture of the cover art here in black and white. There's that goofy captain again. Here's the parts count. And inside we've got some pretty basic instructions. One, two, three. And then number four goes over how to build the extra little medical ship. And five, putting it all together. It actually looks like there's quite a lot of stuff on there, just a lot of detailed parts. Or it looks like that from the instructions. We do have one screw and one nut for the base, I imagine. Some stickers. These, if you saw my unboxing of the old Alpha A0 kit, the same kind of like white paper sticker. Although those were kind of foilish, these look basically just like stickers. Um, this is for the base, actually, and these white crosses are for the medical ship. So, kind of interesting. I've only got two runners. The first one is this kind of blue, light, uh, dull gray blue color. Quite different from the dark blue that the smaller one was molded in. Got just the main pieces for the hole and lots of little fine detailed pieces there. And then we've also got a white runner. It's going to have the base. There you can see the parts for the medical ship. And a bunch more tiny, tiny decal, uh, detail pieces there. And just some legal jargon in there. So that's it, uh, guys. Thanks for watching this kind of unique unboxing video. I'm, uh, I'd be pretty sure that there's probably not any other unboxing videos for these kits online, in English anyway, because they're super old and not really that popular, I would imagine, these days, unless you're like a really super fan and or Japanese. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.